Hey guys, welcome back to more My Hero Academia reactions. So on the last episode, uh, Class 1A finally made it to the training camp um, after having to go through the Beast's Forest, is mm -hmm. what I remember the name is, controlled by uh, the Wild Wild Pussycats. One of them. One of them. Yeah. And um, then also, um, we got to meet this kid. Yeah, Koda? I was about to say. Or Kodo. Koda. Koda. He doesn't He's, like heroes. He doesn't like heroes because of what happened his to his parents. His parents were killed mm -hmm. on duty. Yeah. So it's just interesting to see how he's going to react to a group of students who are I mean, aiming. we already saw, like, he well, punched Deku true. in the nuts. That's true. <laughs> I forgot about that. But yeah, he has, he, you know, he has this thing going on about him. He doesn't yeah. like heroes. But then there's Deku who wants to be that he person. Wants to, he wants to put a smile on his face. Yep. Like the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to try to see what this kid's about. You know, what's going on. Maybe help him in some way. So I'm looking forward to see what's going to happen in this episode. So with that being said, let's get on with the video. Learning to overcome obstacles and save people with a smile on my face. Every time I hear put a smile on my face, it's going to remind me of Joker now. Yeah. We're focusing on our quirks? Class A is already training. You all need to catch up. Oh, he's the best one B. Teacher. Next semester it's class. There's only one thing to do. You'll have to break yourselves. <laughs> 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 Who would you rather have as a teacher, him or Aizawa? I honestly don't know. Alternating between ice and fire, he's regulating the temperature of the water. This is how they train their quirks. Mm -hmm. And he works on controlling his flames. Someday he might be able to use both at once. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be a way to fix his, too. In order to increase the reach of his Anna voice, he's doing vocal exercises to help him build up his range. That's not that bad. Mm -hmm. To just keep crying and yelling. Yeah. Oh, Shaco Uraraka! She's getting her inner ear canals used to zero gravity to reduce nausea, all while increasing how much. Damn! I would hate I that. I would hurl. Running improves his. This is easy. You just, just run, running. dude. Rikido Sato. He's lifting weights while at the same. That's that's the best. You eat while you work out. Cause his is sweet. I know. Amp up her creation. Dude, they have the best. <laughs> They have the best workouts. He just has to keep making balls. He's doing that. <laughs> what the hell? Who's this? Another one? There's four of them? Mm -hmm. Full version. Oh, this is his. Come on, show me what Because he's a strength quirk. Yeah. And then you won't get We're not serving your food anymore. If you guys want to eat, you'll have to make your own meal. Starting with Damn. So Damn. they have to train and they have to cook for themselves. Uh-huh. An important part of saving someone. Coming already still in the dumbass mode. As well as They're all they like, are. tired out. Bakugo, use an explosion to light that. This is so beneath me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> If I got this at a restaurant, I'd send this crap back. But after I'd send this crap back. Beggars can't be choosers. This guy I knew really well, he didn't inherit any abilities from his parents. He admired heroes so much and wanted to be one. He saw about himself. You can't usually become a hero unless you've got to- Will you just leave me alone already? Go away! I'm sorry. I guess I have a habit of rambling sometimes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll leave the curry. He's just trying to help him. Deku's just that type of kid. Mm -hmm. It's so not cute. They were engineered for the black market, from what I hear. You should be worried that they're they gonna attack them. They look I think so. Uh, I'm just saying That's they could be a little more stylish. Looks like. Is that too much to ask? Uh, who knew yesterday's extra lessons would go on until two in the morning? Damn. <laughs> I told you it'd be tough. And no matter what you're doing, just remember where you started from. Don't forget who you were before you A. Where I started. 
who I am. How I got here. Mm hmm. Hey, that resonates with all three of them. It's already to keep the camp a secret from the villains. Hardly anyone knows where we are. That's why you get to wake up with us for a pussy cat. <laughs> <laughs> we believe All Might is one of the League's targets. So that's it. All Might won't be here to help me. So they're tight when the League of Villains attack. <laughs> Did you need All Might for a particular reason? Because of Kota. Kota? Who's that? Huh? See? Nobody there. even notices him cousin. but Deku. I tried to talk to him, but I think I just made things worse. He thought All Might might be able to help. Have done to help him if mm -hmm. been here. To have a complete stranger try to change your mindset sounds like a pretty irritating conversation. Yeah. It matters our actions. You have to show him what you're trying to prove, right? Mm. If you're going to rely on words alone, what you say doesn't matter near as much as what you actually what do. do. Yeah. Oh. So when I saw this, actions speak John louder than words. words. You too can and it was his actions that made right. All Might give him his quirk. Went about this mm -hmm. the wrong way. It sounds to me like you shouldn't be sticking your nose in a delicate situation. <laughs> you tend to cut to the heart of people's feelings. Right. Sorry. If he didn't do that, we you wouldn't guys, have Todoroki the thing. way we do right now. But the remedial class will be having lessons with me tonight instead. Tight. Tight. <laughs> <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Uh -oh. He's by himself. Let's try this again. I must be missing something. Uh oh. One, two, three. Listen up, Tail. Trade with me. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of smoky out here. Maybe Bakugan. Uh oh, did they burn the forest? Oh no! Sleeping gas? It's poisonous! Poison? League of Villains. Yeah, League of Villains. Maybe a fire on the mountain? Oh, it's Dobby. These flames are kind of. Blue fire! Here it oh, is. It started. Those who believe the Vanguard Action Squad of the League of Villains will tear them off their pants. Did you say Vanguard Action Squad? Uh -huh. Let's get rid of these. Where's Koda? Oh, oh no. Oh, he's fine. He's by himself. Oh no, no he's, he's not. not. So that was a really, really good episode. It was. It was. It was amazing to see like how much uses or how much other ways they could be able to like power up their quirks mm -hmm. you know like the creativeness of being able to like for bakugo his sweat like dipping his hands in hot water yeah you know and then i mean some of the others are just like Ida just really needs to run mm -hmm. like it's his his is like more of like a endurance training yeah. but then like there's other than there's like deku you know who has to keep doing whatever the hell that know, he kept is. Doing like a stupid exercise. Yeah, like, you know, whatever the hell that was. And then the fact that his like kind of trainer is is a male pussycat. Yeah, and he's intimidating. He's very scary. Like he's buff, right? Um, he's huge. And he has that outfit on. Yeah. Like, how much more intimidating can a man get? Yeah, I mean, well, the outfit to me kind of makes it seem less intimidating. No, it's more intimidating. Really? Yeah. A buff dude in a cat suit? Yeah. Like, I feel like if you disobey him, he will... Scratch you? <laughs> no, he will do things to you that you will regret. Your, oh. your whole life. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> never mind. Because he's wearing that suit. When you put it in that way, it's like, yeah, yeah never mind. Yeah. Because I saw it a different way, you know? I saw it like a dark way. <laughs> and then you can't do shit because he's too strong and he'll overpower you. Yeah, that's... And you have no choice but to submit. <laughs> okay, that's anyways... <laughs> anyways, let's not go there. Um, and... I think my favorite one uh, from the exercise, uh, the, the training camp thing would have to be Sugar Rush and um, Momo. Because all they have to do is keep eating. Yeah. 
keep eating while exercising. Mm -hmm. You know, that shit is like the best. That's not a workout. That's like a treat, dude. Yeah, it's just because it's unique to yeah. their quirks. Yeah. Because Momo's is creation, so the more she eats, the more she's able to create. And poop. then. <laughs> you had that, to go there. Isn't that how poop works? Like, yeah. Had to go there. Yeah. Made her feel so bad. It's funny, dude. It made it made her so like <laughs> embarrassed. But anyways, like But yeah, like they really did a good job of like displaying that. displaying how everyone's like doing work, mm -hmm. you know, like um exercising their quirks. Mm -hmm. And then also um the newest members of the Wild Wild Pussycats and then incorporating 1B. Mm -hmm. There's and then like how so they have people. to cook for themselves. Yes. That was really, really cool to see because, like, the pussycat said, like, they're only cooking for them for, for one day. Yeah. And then, you know, after that, they're on their own. Mm -hmm. So it's like a legit training camp, mm -hmm. dude. They have to work together to get through this, you mm -hmm. know, like, literally, like, they have to be a community after training. Yeah. And I feel like it, it also boosts the camaraderie between the two classes because, mm -hmm. You know, 1B really is falling behind from 1A, from what the teachers are saying. Like, 1B really is behind. And then the fact that 1, 1A's training is already intense, mm -hmm. to add that, like, to add on 1B as well, you know, like, their quirks are unique to them also. And it's just going to be harder for them to, like, train the quirks as well. And I just feel like the camaraderie, like of them grouping together, cooking everything, and then putting like them against each other too, in like situations like what they were trying to do mm -hmm. before the League of Villains came in, just kind of boosts like the spirits to make it more like they are the hero course and not mm -hmm. just one A and one B. I liked um, Deku and Todoroki's conversation here about Koda. Mm -hmm. Like basically, you know, if you're a stranger that's trying to help someone. You have to do more than just talk. Yeah. You have to show them what you're, what trying, you're trying to, to say. Yeah. Exactly. Cause just because you're saying something, this isn't doesn't necessarily mean like the other person's gonna listen. Mm -hmm. But if you show them what you mean at the bottom of your heart, yeah, it makes more of an impact. And we've seen that too, like this episode showed us with season one. Mm -hmm. Like why All Might gave the quirk to Deku is because yeah. he showed him, mm -hmm. you know, what he did. Yeah. And then with um, Todoroki too. Exactly. That like too. Deku, you know, stuck his nose into into, into another person's, person's business, business where he, it, he didn't have to, but it helped Todoroki along the way. Mm -hmm. The themes are still there. Mm -hmm. And then like next episode, Deku has the chance to show Koda what yes. he can do you know yeah. what his intentions are by saving him because mm -hmm. Koda's in trouble he's by himself yeah you know and there's a league of villain member right there yeah this is the third time in a row that the league of villains has attacked the students during some type of activity because mm -hmm. season one it was during usj mm -hmm. season two was during their internships yeah and now it's during their training Mm -hmm. You know, like every season, <laughs> the that. UA students are just gonna keep getting attacked. There's also the fact that there is a mole. Yeah, I just wanna know who it is. Is exactly. it that teacher from 1B? 1B? I don't know, dude. Right? Because he, he was the only one that, at least that we saw that Aizawa was talking to. Was know? it? Yeah, was it him? Huh? Was it yeah, him? Yeah, it was him. So, I don't know. We don't have any other yeah, suspects. Yeah, we don't have any other clues as to who it might be. Yeah. But it's just like, how else would they know? So anyways, what did you guys think of this episode? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm Ray. I'm Danny. And we'll see you in the next video.